All right, so I'm swapping out the bell housing on my transmissions because the one on the MLL, it's got the uh, shafts on the bottom and the original one has the shaft at the top, which would be here. Um, I think it could be changed around if we had to, but I just thought it best to do it this way. And first thing I did was remove this thing. I don't know what it's called. Fairly easy. Uh, you just loosen these bolts. Um, careful not to use. There's like a big washer that keys into this shaft so that this so that it won't spin like won't spin on itself. So you understand what I mean. It goes in there. So that it locks in with this and the whole thing spins not just the shaft and this doesn't move um, and then I just removed the bolts and nuts that hold the bell housing now I will mention something very important which is as you can see the bell housing is also a cover for the bearings which means you gotta have a nice gasket. Fortunately, the bell housing came out nicely without ripping the gasket. But more importantly, you, you, I really cleaned this surface and this corner here. There's like a little space here between the bell housing and the transmission housing. And I, it's important that you clean it because when you remove the bell housing, all the crap, sand, and junk that's on here will fall on the bearing here, and that's that's kind of nasty. It'll damage the bearing. There's a bearing part number, by the way, there. the other one and uh, now I just just a matter of doing the same thing with the other uh, I could potentially apply some gasket sealant but I don't really think that should be necessary it doesn't look like they did it so we should hopefully be fine here. So yeah, don't forget to uh, clean out the corners. That's what I'm going to have to do.